If I were to ask you how far France was from Canada, you'd probably guess a couple thousand miles or kilometers. But your answer would actually need to be much, much smaller. As a part of France, sits just 16 miles or 25 kilometers away from Canada. This is Saint Pierre and Miquelon, a small archipelago settled by Basque fishermen owned by France, but just off the coast of Newfoundland. Welcome to That Is Interesting. I'm your host, Carter. Today, the fascinating story of Saint Pierre and Miquelon, France's little corner of North America. The islands were colonized by France in 1536, as a part of a North American empire stretching from Labrador to Louisiana. The island's history has been heavily shaped by the Basques, an ethnic group from the Basque country, a mountainous region along the coast of the Bay of Biscay, divided between France and Spain. While the island was mostly settled by Basques, it belonged to France, and was part of New France, the French colonies in North America. But in 1954, France's dominance in North America was challenged. The Ohio River was a major eastern tributary of the Mississippi, and control of it was highly contested between Britain in the south and France in the north. The most strategic part of the disputed Ohio Valley was the Forks of the Ohio, the spot where the river was formed by the confluence of the Allegheny and Monongahela rivers, and today the site of the city of Pittsburgh. Aiming to control the forks, France began construction there of Fort Duquesne. Britain saw this as encroachment into a disputed territory, and sent in troops to take the fort, led by a 22-year-old soldier named George Washington. Washington's men soon encountered the French outside of what is now Uniontown, Pennsylvania, and a global war began, as France battled Britain across North America, South America, Europe, India, and Africa, each trying to gain control of one another's vast empires. It was known as the Seven Years' War, and when it was over, Britain came out victorious, gaining control of nearly all of New France. In Acadia, a French colony consisting of what is now the US state of Maine and Canada's maritime provinces, sitting across the Gulf of St. Lawrence from St. Pierre and Miquelon, British troops invaded and forced the Acadians out. Many escaped to the coastal swamps of Louisiana and Texas, in a region called Acadiana, where today, their 1.2 million descendants are known as Cajuns, and play a large role in the French-speaking culture of Louisiana. But while Britain won most of New France after the war, there was one part France was allowed to keep, Saint Pierre and Miquelon, as they were an important area for fishing. During the American Revolution, France, never an ally of Britain, backed the soon-to-be United States, and their support helped the US gain independence. During the war, Britain invaded the island, destroyed all the settlements, and forced out the French. Britain and France fought for control of the islands for the next 38 years, with one country invading them and destroying all settlements, until the other did the same. In 1848, they were finally given back to France and resettled two years later. In the early 1900s, the possibility of annexation by the United States became popular on the islands, an idea backed by powerful US Senator Henry Cabot Lodge who wanted US ownership of the islands for use as fishing grounds. Annexation came down to a local election to the island's representative to France. The current representative, who was against annexation, was running against someone who was for it. The anti-annexation incumbent barely won re-election, securing ownership of the islands in the hands of France. Their close proximity to the United States meant that during Prohibition, they were a major center of alcohol smuggling illegally importing 1,800,000 gallons or 6,900,000 liters of whiskey into the US from Canada. Today, St. Pierre and Miquelon, with a flag displaying their maritime history as well as their Basque, Breton, and Norman heritage, is home to only 6,000 people. They are the last remnant of New France, a massive empire stretching through the northern part of North America, and a fascinating anomaly in a region dominated by Canada and the United States. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned something new. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover the countries, cities, people, and places of the world and beyond. These videos will leave you saying, that is interesting.